Siege currently is in one of the weirdest metas, being a very frag entry meta as well as for defenders, lurking off site, running around like a bunch of headless chickens and crackhead warden mains and mozzie mains and all the others. And a very roam heavy meta currently and a lot of 1v1 gunfights and not too much strat in it. And with this has became a very forgotten operator that I think is very underused. But before I get into this fully, I want to give a special shout out to Beast Mob Player for really lighting up this idea in my head. So go check him out, link down in the description. But talking back on this operator, this operator, she is very, very underrated and very overhated in my opinion. And today I want to talk about her and why I think she should come back to the meta and she is very very good to this day on august 2nd of 2016 operation skull rain was released with this came an attacker defender and a new map the attacker being capital the new map being favela which is honestly one of the worst maps siege has ever released and the defender being cav now besides obviously the attacker and the map coming out cav was a big Thing coming to siege releasing one year after the game's full release and being one of the only roamers to actually be in the game with this came her pick rate being way high considering she was a much different operator and type of operator with this coming with her silent step as well as her interrogation and her unique setup of guns Cavs loadout looking like the spaz 12 and the m12 or the shotgun that's extremely overpowered and that basic ass SMG being her primary weapons as well as her main pistol, the Lu Lu Luisen. Honestly, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Comment down below the abbreviation of how to pronounce it. But with this came a very unique setup of weapons being basically her primary being a suppressed pistol that one shots doing 99 damage. Yes, you heard that right. 99 damage. And you as the player being able to choose between a shotgun or an smg which honestly at the time seemed a bit broken considering she was only real roamer on the game having that silent step where you can basically not hear her at all the interrogation revealing where all the attackers locations are another thing a lot of people don't really want to talk about this but at one point cav did indeed have a c4 Obviously, now we know it obviously got removed because, well, Cav with a C4, really, come on. But moving on from that, everything was looking decent enough for Cav until, well, we all know all good things must come to an end. Especially when Operation Chimera, Chimera, I don't really know how to pronounce it, Operation Chimera, I'm going to call it, released. With this came Finca and lion now the main operator we're going to be focusing on here is obviously lion considering he was absolutely overpowered if you hadn't didn't play back then lion's ability basically gave you wall hacks and you could literally see people through walls like not where you can see their icon nowadays you can literally see people through walls and this was very detrimental to caviera because obviously when you're roaming with cav you don't just want to really stay in one spot. You want to lurk around and see if you can get that Intero. And with Lion coming into the mix, he's basically a hard counter. And obviously, unfortunately, things did not get much better for her. On year three, season four, on February 5th of 2019, Caviera unfortunately got the biggest nerf, in my opinion, in Siege history. With this came her damage, which was once 99, being reduced to 65. <sighs> oh, good God. Not just that, but before, in November 20th of 2017, Vigil was released, which was very different with Operation White Noise, considering it was also Dokabi, who again hard counters Cav. And yeah. So 2017, 2018, 2019, terrible years for her. Let's just get that out the way with the release of Vigil, Lion, and Dokibi coming out. But let's think about it. 
can things get much worse besides all that plus her damage reduction let me let me think if things can get much worse for her and before you can answer that question yes it got much worse with operation shadow legacy coming out this operation was the biggest operation since operation health had come out with the new introduction of the 1.5 scope and the 2x scope and basically the removal of a cog on every operator and this affected cav so much because before operators that didn't have a cog such as pulse and lesion yeah they were now overpowered considering they basically had an ACOG for defense and Cav, well, uh, you know, she, um, she stayed quite stale to say the least. Not only was there an introduction of new scopes in Shadow Legacy, but there was also Sam Fisher, aka Zero, who was another Intel operator that just basically countered roaming. As well as a lot of people don't know this, but there was a point where Vigil had a 1.5, yes, believe it or not. Okay, there was a point where Vigil had a freaking 1.5. I mean, think about that. Vigil 1.5, it would have broke the game. But now if we fast forward into 2023, Cavera's pick rate is basically zero to none. Even with the Swinger B Swung meta and every single person basically having a 1.5. Well, not everybody, but whoever has a 1.5, that's a 2-speed or above is a basically broken as shit she has basically vanished completely which i don't think is all the way fair because she in my opinion is still very 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 viable with her silent step and interrogation where you could just basically find everybody i feel like she could still be picked with a swinger be swung meta considering everybody is just pushing in without joining at all times and I feel like that's what makes her very viable with the element of surprise. As well as her loadout being decent with the shotgun and nades. If you really wanted to as a calf player, you could even help your team set up site. But with this, Siege has evolved a lot. And in some cases for the good, and others for the worse. And honestly, Siege is in a very weird state right now. And I'm not complaining at all. I am still enjoying Siege maybe more than previous years. But with this Swinger B Swung meta, a lot of operators are disappearing and whether or not you have a 1.5 in your two speed is a big deal now which is why operators like cavera have been extremely underused and she's only had that one real change to her which was a massive nerf to her damage that her pistol does and the way to change this is honestly potentially just by giving everybody 1.5 or whatever but cav again is very underused she is very viable and her interrogation is very useful but that's going to be it for this video i did use some of other creators content in here as in their gameplay so link is down and below if you want to check out all of them i should have them labeled up in the top left or right wherever it is so please go show all of them some love that's going to be me today guys i hope you guys don't forget about cav she is criminally underrated in my personal opinion and that's going to be it for today guys i love y'all Cheese it out.